Thanks for joining our webinar today. My name is Phil Magnuszewski from Infuse Innovations, a Microsoft Gold Partner. This is just one of a series of webinars we'll be recording on a variety of topics that we get asked by our clients and people that we speak with on a, on a regular basis. Today we'll be talking about the topic of remote workers, a very relevant topic in today's environment. We'll be exploring it in terms of how people work, what the experience is like, how technologies enable folks to work from home without missing a beat, uh, how the technology can be deployed quickly, and maybe most importantly, how to train employees so that the deployment is successful for the organization. Infused Innovations works closely with Microsoft on many major projects. Our goal is always to make sure that we're providing just the right solution for each customer's specific needs. Today with me is Kevin Martins. Kevin is a partner technical architect with the Modern Workspace team at Microsoft. And Kevin, thank you for being here today. Hello, Phil, and thank you for having me on today. And guess what? I am working from home. So, Kevin, we were talking earlier today uh, about the concept of remote work. Uh, and you were telling me how you've worked from home, from home for a number of years uh, for multiple companies and have grown to love every minute of it. Tell me a little bit about your experience. Sure thing. Uh, so years ago, uh, I worked for Verizon at a data center. I worked with them for, for many, many years, and, and I went into an office every day. And to get there, I battled Beltway traffic with a 45-minute commute each way. And while there in the office, I had many, many side conversations with people about their weekend plans, and you know, I would listen to the latest gossip on what was happening. You know, These are normal things that happen in an office environment. But when I joined HP about 15 years ago, uh, after Verizon, it was really a 98% work from home position. And all of that office experience changed. You see, the role I had with HP had me traveling perhaps two or three weeks out of every year, but the rest of it, definitely the majority of the time, was spent in my home office. Was it a switch? Yes. Was it odd at first? Absolutely. And back then, we used a combination of Jabber and the HP conference calling system to stay in touch. Then I started with Microsoft about nine years ago in another work from home office environment. And I've seen the remote collaboration capabilities since that time it take off. Now with Microsoft Teams especially, we can switch from instant messaging, file sharing, phone calls, video calls, conference calls, and more, all in one combined tool, not disparate tools like I had before when I first started out. And it's capabilities like these that keep us so well connected and a team feeling like they're they're so much more closer together, even when we're separated from coast to coast in the United States by thousands of miles. So it sounds like you grew to love the working remote experience. At, at first, uh, absolutely. At, at first it was different, but yes, I, I did really grow to love it. You, you see, Phil, I, I loved the flexibility and how much I was able to, to, to work from home and, and I felt like I was able to get so much more done every day. I no longer had, was sitting in traffic for an hour and a half each day. I no longer heard about the office gossip, and that was oftentimes just a time waster. You know, no longer was I hearing uh, distracting coworker conversations on another telephone call right next to me. I was able to focus really on the work that I love doing, and I really appreciated the work from home as a perk of the role. What was really great was the flexibility I had. Yes, I was working a lot, but if I wanted to step out for lunch, I could. If I wanted to start work at 6 a.m. instead of 8 a.m., I could do that too if I needed to take off later on in that afternoon. If I needed to step out to see one of my kids' events at school, I could. I could get my kids onto the school bus every morning and be there when they got back. And I'll tell you, having the flexibility like that was priceless. These are the things that HP and now Microsoft enable me to do with my working from home model. My two working parents, like many of you that are listening, never had that flexibility, you know, 30 or 40 years ago. We're really dating ourselves now, Phil. Yeah, um, sure, sure. <laughs> but, but keep in mind that with remote work, what, what matters is that you're available during those core business hours most of the time, but even more importantly, that the work gets done. So with all of the extra time you have to work from home each day, you'd be amazed at, at how much you can actually get done when you focus on it. So, and that's, that's, that's sometimes right. a tough part for people. Yep. Right. So, Phil, I can tell you that most organizations using Microsoft and Office 365 already own Microsoft Teams. 
But let's say an organization wants to roll out a work from home model and do it very quickly. Is this something you have found difficult to do with your clients when you've been asked to do this? Yeah, sure. Uh, difficult? No, no, it's not. Uh, it's not extremely difficult. However, it does require some planning. Um, as you mentioned, what's truly great about Microsoft or Office 365 is that Teams already comes with those subscriptions. Um, and all an organization really needs to do is expose it to the users. In order to do that, organizations really should spend a little bit of time in preparation for that rollout. And this is where we here at Infuse Innovations kind of excel in that approach. Uh, our approach is really helping clients define the rollout plan, the governance policies that will go out um, into the wild um, as they're deploying teams, as well as the user adoption and training components. We know, both of us, we've been in the industry for a long period of time, we both know just because the technology is great uh, and sitting in front of someone doesn't always mean they're going to use it um, or even click on it and check things out. Uh, and even if they did, uh, Microsoft Teams offers so many awesome capabilities in that platform beyond simple instant messaging and conference calling that it's highly unlikely they'd be able to understand all the goodness that's kind of packed into it. And working with clients and, and helping them develop in those, those governance policies uh, and the approach to formally deploying, uh, the formally rolling out Teams as well as the end user and adoption uh, component of it, we typically start by working with leadership to help them determine the best way to kind of organize, um, utilize, and administer the team's environment. Because there are some considerations that you want to make up front when you're, when you're deploying that technology. And then what we'll typically do is we'll host several training sessions of, over a course of time um, for both small groups and larger audiences. Well, we'll start by training them on the basics of Microsoft th Teams, you know, things like making uh, making con calls or scheduling uh, meetings in there as well. Then we'll get into some of the more advanced features and functionality that are available in that platform. The things that many of the employees that we end up uh, training will go out and adopt to make their lives easier while working in the office, at home, or even on the go using the, uh, the Teams mobile app on their smartphones. We'll continue hosting these training sessions even after full deployment, and we'll monitor the user telemetry in Microsoft 365 to see the increases in team usage. Our goal is to make sure that everyone in the organization is actively using the technology each and every day, uh, enabling a full and collaborative environment for the organization. Uh, that's fantastic, Phil. So it really, it's, it's not like you're just turning it on and walking away. You're making sure that you're training users the, the, the proper way to, to, you know, to make sure that they're all involved and they're all connected in this new work from home environments and they're utilizing the, the tool in, in just the right way uh, to make, make sure that they're successful and they're, uh, they're productive every day. You have to, you absolutely have to. Yep. Oh, fantastic. So Phil, um, while working from home is, is just a great experience, I mean, you heard my story, what about security? The security of the products that enable you to work from home. Are instant messages secured? Are voice calls encrypted? Are file transfers safe? And is all of this compliant with industry regulations? Th those are common things that, that people ask, but I'm curious, are your customers concerned and, and asking these types of questions and what are your, how do you respond to that? Yeah, Kevin, that's that's actually a great question by you. Um, let me just start by saying Microsoft Teams, and this is, we've looked at a lot of different collaboration technologies in the marketplace, but Microsoft Teams is the most secure and industry compliant collaboration solution in the market today. Um, all the communications are encrypted by default, both while in transit and at rest, so your data is protected wherever it is, and encryption is always on. It's not able to be disabled by anyone. We recently posted a blog on this topic as well, and uh, I'll make sure that we post a link in the video uh, as well that kind of compares some of the, the other options out there in the market. On top of that, uh, Microsoft itself, um, the Microsoft Cloud holds over 100 industry compliance certifications, which is more than any other cloud hosting company in the world. These requirements are periodically reviewed and evaluated by third party, and they're also then uh, publicly published. So um, we'll, we'll add that link as well, Kevin, to, uh, for the folks who are listening here today so they can take a look at that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So when our clients are looking into collaboration products, we often bring up security as a top concern uh, because it's a real differentiator for Microsoft Teams. 
it's always been our belief that cybersecurity should be built in and not bolted on. So regardless of the technologies that we help organizations deploy, we're always looking security first. I'm often surprised how security is either an afterthought or not even a top concern when organizations are looking into collaboration products like this. So Phil, this is a fantastic conversation about a lot of the hot topics from the work from home to the security of the work from home products that, that companies out there are looking to use. And it's not just companies, but it's organizations, it's school systems, it's healthcare systems, they're, they're industry focused areas as well. And those are areas where the compliance factor really enters in. And those are the questions that have to be asked uh, by customers. But th this is fantastic. Um, what if I'm listening in, Phil, and I, I want to hear more about this. I want to see a demonstration of what Microsoft Teams is really all about. And not just the instant messaging and presence capabilities, <laughs> but, but what about the screen sharing? What about the apps that are built into to Microsoft Teams? What about some of the customization and compliance checkboxes that, that Teams now has the option of enabling or, or disabling? Uh, you know, where can I go for more information? How do I contact you? Yeah, so Infuse Innovations has been offering emerging technologies, including collaboration services for a long, long, long time. We have architects with deep technical knowledge around the product itself, uh, around how to design the rollout, how to deploy it, and how to um, increase user adoption within the organization. And we always invite uh, folks that we speak with and for the folks listening here today uh, to contact us for more information. But there are a couple of things that we, we can do for organizations that really want to get a deeper look at this. Uh, one is to schedule, uh, it's typically a two hour, what we call a customer immersion experience, and we'll run through some of the common use cases. Not getting into the, the, the bits and bytes of the technology per se, but how am I going to use it in my, my day to day job, right? How is the organization going to benefit from it? And, um, and how do I really get to be more productive using the platform? Uh, the other option, um, we used to do this on-site, um, but in the current state of the world, um, we're doing these virtually. Um, our half day, you know, half day or a couple hour whiteboarding sessions, where we'll have one of our um, our collaboration architects um, work with you. We'll have a discussion about your business. We'll talk about the technology. Um, we'll walk through with you how teams can be used in your organization. And both of these are available at no charge to, uh, to organizations. We want to make sure that folks understand, and again, most organizations that are on the Office 365, actually all organizations that are on Office 365 or Microsoft 365 have this available to them. They're already paying for it. And our goal is just to help you get the most out of it. So uh, people are, who are listening today are encouraged to contact us uh, using the information on the screen. Kevin, this has been great. I appreciate your time. I appreciate the conversation as always. Uh, so on behalf of both Kevin and I, I want to thank you for joining the webinar today. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks. Yep. And thank you, Phil. Appreciate it.